I'm Rashid Al Ansari, and I'm the CEO of Al Ansari Financial Services, the mother company that owns Al Ansari Exchange. I really grew up with the business. Uh, it's a family business, uh, Al Ansari Exchange, and it was established in uh, 1966. It started with very humble beginnings, uh, with about uh, five employees uh, in one branch. Uh, and then, of course, it mushroomed into the uh, company that we see today with uh, more than 250 branches and 4,000 employees uh, really serving the community here. Um, Al Ansari Financial Services, uh, uh, or specifically Al Ansari Exchange, which is the subsidiary of the company, was established uh, really to um, uh, really focus on the customer's needs uh, in terms of money remittance and foreign currency exchange. Um, it's uh, really our aim to put the customer at the center of every decision we take um, and build the infrastructure around the need of the customer. And that has historically been the uh, key success for the company. Technology has always played a very important role in the uh, growth and the journey of the company. Um, I remember in the 80s when uh, the company started introducing uh, computer systems and moving away from the uh, manual way of operating has really enabled the organization to develop a hub and spoke model. Uh, this later on developed into uh, providing a mobile app and other digital channels such as the kiosks uh, and the web portal as well to make that journey even more seamless uh, for our consumers. Um, this has really mushroomed after the pandemic um, the consumers uh, really latched on into our, uh, specifically the mobile app service, and uh, and we never looked back after that. I remember that pre-pandemic we had only about maybe less than 2% of our remittance transactions were taking place through the mobile app. Post-pandemic that grew to 15 and currently it's 20% and growing. Uh, these are amazing numbers in that short uh, span of time. Um, we are extremely proud uh, the way that uh, the consumers has uh, interacted and perceived our uh, mobile app specifically. Um, it really gave us comfort when Forbes uh, rated uh, our mobile app as the number one fintech app in the GCC and the number two in the whole MENA region. The other milestones which are very dear to my heart as well is um, when uh, we uh, uh, recently IPO'd the company in uh, the April of uh, 2023. Uh, we um, IPO'd the company, we, we took the company public uh, through Al Ansari Financial Services, uh, which really opens the door for the future expansion. It is very different when you approach new jur jurisdiction, new geographies as a family business compared to a listed company on a stock exchange. We went uh, beyond by digitizing the foreign currency business. Uh, it doesn't have to necessarily be in cash. We have introduced the travel card. The travel card is a multi-wallet and every wallet is a different currency. So you have one card, which is a visa enabled card with more than 23 currencies in it. So you can load the currency that you like, that depending on the country you're traveling in, it's smart enough to realize which country you're in and deducts from the correct wallet. We have great plans for the future of uh, the company. In terms of geographical expansion, of course, we have great ambitions. We are uh, currently in Kuwait. Um, and uh, we have uh, plans to enter the Omani market as well uh, and other GCCs in general. Dubai is very unique in every aspect, uh, other than the, uh, the demographic mix and how it has enriched the fabric of society here and made it very unique. There is also um, uniqueness in terms of the infrastructure that was built, the uh, amount of tourist or tourism attractions that was built all this uh, clubbed with how the government is running the, uh, the city as a company, where there are people responsible for the quality of life, where people are looking at every aspect um, from um, the, the, the people's experiences and, the, and, and, and how you can enrich that. Uh, you've reached a success, you're hungry for more. And there is always that kind of what's new in Dubai. Every day you wake up, there is a news or there is a new development. This really keeps us excited. That's how the travel card was born. The idea of making it simple and easy for the traveler basically to, uh, to, to deal with foreign currency. It's a very innovative idea, it comes from an innovative city with really um, 
um, unique talents that enable that uh, innovation. And I think this is something that's very unique about the city of Dubai and the UAE in general.